person hands on his curl. And we have, uh, what's your name? My name is Abuno Antibari. I, nice have a, ah, I have a gift for you. Thank you. It's my uh, it is It is more important to, um, to, uh, to increase the student um, self-esteem. Uh, so a student needs... Not many schools do this. Oh, well, um, Thank you for giving this. No time. problem. So, uh, I brought this name plate uh, to to increase my student uh, self esteem. Uh, I don't, I don't think teacher need it. I think every student deserve one. Okay. All right. So today our topic is as a unit. Now, before we do that, I just want to remind everyone that this is school believe that memorization is a crime. So let's take the oath. Memorization is a crime. All right. Very good. So. What is SI unit? That is our uh, topic today, and let's remind everyone what is SI unit. Well, SI units are our topic today, but uh, SI it means uh, stands for Systema International. I think it was invented by the French, and it was the successor to metric units. Very right, good, very nice. Now today our main focus is going to be on temporal set. But before um, before we talk about temporal set, can you remind the whole class the other? Um, other one that we learn. So, just remind everyone. Um, how many fundamental quantity in the universe? Seven. Seven. How many you learn so far? Six. What are they? So we're one way off from completing SI units. This is really good. Anyways, length is meters, time is seconds, mass is kilograms, amount of substance is moles, and then we have a candela. Wait, a uh, light, which is candela? Uh, luminous intensity. Oh, uh, luminous intensity, which is candela. And then one more. What was that? Oh, uh, that amount was... Of, amount of substance? Oh, no, I said that. Oh, so what else do you mean is current? Yeah, yeah, current, which was amps. Oh, very, amps. very nice. And today we're going to do temperature. Are you ready? Yeah, this is the final one. Do you know that's a unit of well, temperature? Well, I know what temperature means, but I don't really know what that's I use. That's a unit of temperature. is Kelvin. Oh, but no, I let's give you. don't understand. Let's give you, a, yeah, understanding going to come with some hands-on. This is a hands-on school, so understanding going to come through the hands-on activity. Is that a thermometer? It is thermometer. Okay, so take that thermometer, okay. uh, measure my temperature. Pretty wet, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So to measure my temperature, hopefully, uh, hopefully my temperature will come out okay. Now, now, nowadays it's a COVID-19, so hopefully my temperature will be fine. Okay. Raise your tongue up. Okay. Let's see the reading. Okay. It's still, it's taking some time. Okay, it seems to be 36.6. That's what the reading tells me. Uh, 36.6, um, can you? Can you? It says 36.6 degrees Celsius. Um, I'm, I hope that's the I'm, so, I'm sorry, um, I'm sorry, that is wrong. Uh, you have to give it to me in SI unit. Oh, no. So, I believe Fahrenheit is 9 over 5. Celsius plus 32. So we know that when I took your temperature, it gave me 36.6 degrees Celsius. And then we have to add 32 to that. So let me do this in the calculator. So 9 times 36.6 will give me 324. Divide that by 5 plus 32. 96.8 Which isn't a normal, but it's pretty close. Yeah. So, 96.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Is that my temperature? Yeah. Um, that's wrong. Oh, this is not the right... No, this is not right unit. Wait, you told me it earlier, right? That's not what I told you earlier. I told you that as a unit for temperature is not Celsius, not Fahrenheit, something else. It started with a K, right? Yes, that is correct. Whose name starts with the... <gasps> Calvin? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Correct. Yeah, Calvin. Right. And I think Calvin is Celsius plus 273. So... That, that I will write. Okay. So... We know that your temperature taken was 36.8, no, 36.6, 
add that to 273.15 and 309.75 uh, degree Kelvin, Kelvin, which is moderate. It's a uh, it's close to the average, which would be 310 Kelvin. It's pretty close to the normal. So, don't worry, you don't have COVID. Okay, all right, very nice. Uh, thank you, you did a good job. Um, very nice. Now, we finish all seven fundamental quantity. So, do I have an M&M or a balloon as a report? Um, no, but I have something else for you, and that is this. No problem. You're the best teacher ever. <laughs> Thank you.